My name is Mudulamin Fati, a 22-year-old Gambian, and I'm the founder and the current farm manager of Emirates Poultry Farm. And I'm also a student of the University of the Gambia, a third-year student. Yeah, if you look into the poultry statistics of the Gambia, about 95% of our poultry products is imported into this country, which we can produce locally. So I also like there's a gap in the market which need to be filled. And if you look at agriculture in general, youths in the Gambia like don't are not engaged that much into agriculture because people think that agriculture is for the rural people. So me being a youth, being in the urban area, I saw these opportunities. I said, let me get into to the poultry because at the end of the day, I'll be able to create job for myself and earn a decent living out of it and create jobs for other people. And, I'll, I didn't, and also I'll be producing food that will contribute towards the full self-sufficiency of the Gambia. Yeah, late in 2017, around November, December, I went to a training, then met up with some poultry farmers. Though like I have the intention of getting into agriculture, but like then like not into poultry. So after meeting with this, poultry farmers like they, they introduced me to the poultry thing then like I saw my interest from there I make the research till around December January from December January I was making my research then I, I raised phone after raising the phone in January 2018 we built up the structure then in February we start the production when I was having the idea the child one of the main challenges was finance because I was having the uh, total amount of money but I approached my family like my dad in specific so I tell him about the idea then after somewhere like I raised some fund then he helped me to the rest of the fund so fin access to finance was a bit what a, was a challenge in the beginning but Alhamdulillah we are able to overcome it and things are going a bit smooth and also if you have a product like access to market because you check do like I say like 95% of our poultry products is imported, but the locally produced poultry products are more expensive than the imported one. So if you want to sell your products to an average Gambian, he will say like, man, I understand from that cost. But what we tell them is like, ours are grown locally and like the, the quality wise and the chickens, like you buy them from the farm, you slaughter them that very day or like you, or you can keep the one day two days, but the imported chicken, you don't know like how it is processed. But that also, I list up with some poultry farmers and also market vendors that do sell live chicken. So about the marketing part, we are able to overcome it. And also one of the things like the knowledge too, because I was, I was getting into the business, I do not understand the whole business, especially the practical part fully. But now, Alhamdulillah, every, every challenge, every challenge I have, I will call some older, some poultry farmers who are my friends. I will visit their farm, and sometimes they will come and visit my farm, and they will show me like, do this, do this. We are doing this thing wrong. Do do do, do this thing right. Do this thing right. And now that is really helping me. Since I started, like, created a job for myself and two other family members, like, because this a charity begins at home. So I created a job for myself and two of my sisters. Because I'm not always here. As I said to you earlier, I'm here and I go to school. I also have some other engagements. So whilst I am out, if the chickens, they need water or they need feed, my two sisters, they will step in because they know how, how to do it. Whether I am here or not here, like they can control their business. So in total, three, including myself. The category of people mostly are poultry farmers. Also, you have the market vendors that do sell like live chickens like those um, and, and ordinary people but they are not that much because for me I sell my products in wholesale so I sell it to other poultry farmers and also market vendors so really I do not sell it to so market because normally the price that may have paid like it, that is a little bit complex so I sell it to the poultry farmers I raise them maybe up to two to three weeks they come and buy it and the market vendors when they are matured I sell it to them. Yeah, in the next five years, I see MLS Poultry Farm as one of the biggest poultry farms in the game, if not the biggest. Though like the business is very new, like we are into six months of operation, this is why like we are taking our time. 
because in business like one thing i learned from people do like my father is a businessman a lot of successful businessmen or one thing i learned from them like you don't rush in business like you have to grow organically like you grow st- from step one step two step three step four I lo- like i can grow from step one to step ten but along the way i will crash so i decided to grow from step one and go to step two so go to step three so in the next five years we will understand all the things into the poultry business then we will grow like we'll become one of the leading poultry farms in the gambia because we already have our plans and we are working towards it.